Brad. Sure. How's it going? Good, how's it going with you? Oh, it's great, it's great. I'm really enjoying uh, the camp meeting overall. It's been great, especially that I, I'm serving, I'm volunteering here um, by driving people around. And my kids are also enjoying it. They get to uh, go to their primary school, they get to sing, uh, listen to great stories and play, and then just make friends. So we're really having a really good time here at camp meeting, so we're very, very blessed. Thank you for the ride. You're very welcome. Time. Have a great day. You as well. Take care. Michigan camp meeting, so it couldn't be better. We live in Tennessee and we drive all the way to come because it means so much to us. My kids are nine and 12 now, and all year long, I hear about the things that they are learning and have learned in their classes here. I love that the leaders care about teaching them about Jesus. They have fun in their classes. And so my kids don't give me a choice. They say, we've got to come to Michigan camp meeting. And I love it because I get to connect with everyone and get spiritually fed myself. And it was so bright, I fell to the ground. And I, I heard a voice, and it said, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I'm out in ministry full time, I am called to feed other people. And when we come home and we're here for a week at camp meeting, it's nice to be spiritually fed by others so that we in turn can go out and continue to feed others in ministry. It's also all about connection. The connections you make at, at camp meeting can be a lifetime connection, a beautiful um, times to share with each other, of burdens and prayerful time with each other. It's just a beautiful thing to be connected with other people. This one got on uh, the public transport. And so they, they passed each other. And so I was like, oh, man, now I gotta go pick up these kids. I gotta go find them out in the nowhere. And so he has to wait, 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 wait until he can get on another PMV. And then one man, one woman committed for life. One man, one what? Committed for, for life. Go ahead and be the result is that we are transformed into the same image. And so we can be changed by spending time with Jesus in his birth. Did you join camp meeting? Yeah, I really love it this year. I've really loved the different sermons and the different services that I went to at the teen tent. They've really had a lot of focus on the different challenges that teens and young people go through, and it's been really great. It helps you to connect with the larger Adventist community and you know that it's not just your local church but you're part of something much bigger. One of the things we really love is the way that our pastors and our church leaders are, are here with us doing life with us and making themselves available to us. In fact our son is going into the ministry and those friendships that he's made with, with pastors all these years have been a blessing to him and they've been wonderful mentors in his life.
When I found out what the theme for camp meeting was, as for me in my house, I can't explain it, but it's like the Lord just kind of put a specialness to that phrase. And the thought came, I want to be able to say that. The blood of Jesus actually does wash away sin. If you have faith to believe him, if you have faith to trust him, it does. He does, doesn't cancel the debt. He sets you free from what has had you in bondage. He sets you free from the, from the burden of sin, from the, from the life of sin. He sets you free from being a sinner. I came to tell you today that when you are forgiven, power is given to you. When you are forgiven, the Holy Ghost falls on you. My sin calls out to him. My failure touches him. My predicament reaches him. My condition is my recommendation. Have you given your life to Christ? Christ has done everything he could to save every human being. What he's saying is, if you are going to follow me, I need you to put everything else aside. All your familial associations, all of the things that you think are important to you, you've got to be willing to lay it all down for me. When we unite our weakness with his strength, our ignorance with his wisdom, and our unworthiness with his merit, in Christ, by Christ, because of Christ, through Christ, we become invincible through the grace and power of Jesus Christ. As for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord.